Atlas de Loup. Atlas est, est content, ils ont vu des, des traces dans le détecteur. Et maintenant, on va enlever le dernier bloc et on va faire Lynn le tour. Lynn est saying that they're going to lift the last block, liberate the beam from point one cycle, guys. to point two. The last sector, again, virgin territory, never done be before, never done to before, and maybe some surprises just afterwards, he announced in French. What could be those not, not surprises, Boris? No surprises. <laughs> Voilà, il faut regarder cette allée là. So I just had to look at the screen. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Ça c'est non 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 non. Ça c'est le faisceau injecté. Maintenant, ce même faisceau va faire le tour et il y aura deux tâches, au moins deux tâches, j'espère. He just said we're going to see very soon at least two spots, which means the okay, beam has completed its circle. The first spot is the injection point, and the second one is the same beam reaching the end of the circle. Okay, three, two, one, go. Two spots! Fantastic! That's really fantastic. The beam has completed its 27 kilometer circle. We see the director general of Sun in the years until 2004. This meal is not handshaking. Everybody's handshaking. Luciano Maria Nicola Rubbia. Romeo Perin, another engineer who's now retired, who has worked a lot on the LHC. Bravo, bravo, he's saying Luciano Maiani, Italian Director General of CERN until the uh, year 2003. Ah, so okay. now we're ready for a oh, second turn. Oh, they're not wasting any time, are they? Ma They've done on, it once. On We've seen on a, a historic event. The first beam traversed 27 kilometers. They're attempting a second turn, all in one go, on commence, on peut, on peut without any blocks. A, a, a without so, so far we've seen this beam go stage by stage, very cautiously, but rather quickly, around the 27 kilometers. This time they're going to make it happen in one go, as it will happen for real, of course, when they're <laughs> And now I see that the comments are terminated. Uh, his comments are over. <laughs> He's too happy to be able to continue. Mais on ne peut pas tenir tout le monde en émoi, parce que ça va être finalement un peu la même chose qui va se reproduire avec des améliorations à chaque tour. Okay, they're going to repeat. Merci à tous. The same thing with improvements in each turn. Roberto Mar, thanks everybody. Congratulations everybody in the control center. Well done, he says to everybody. Bon. And do you know what? They've done it in under an hour. It's fantastic. It's beyond expectations. Back to the lab, although Robert Amar said there is no, no reason to complete the lab. <laughs> Let's focus on this. On doit s'occuper du deuxième faisceau, qui ira plus vite, j'espère, que 20 km à l'heure. So the beam, instead of doing 300,000 kilometers per second, the first beam did 20 kilometers per hour because it was stopped at each, at, at each end of each sector. And he, he says the second one is going to take faster, it's going to be faster. <laughs> I should think so. The second one's going to do the whole circuit in one, we hope. Hopefully. And everything is completely unexpected today. <laughs> And if it were to do so, that would definitely be the very first time that the Large Hadron Collider has seen such an event. The first beam going all the way around in one go. We've already seen the first beam go around in stages and do it much quicker than any of the scientists and engineers and technicians inside the nerve center ever thought would be possible. Now they're going to try and do it in one go, which is of course what they're going to have to do day in, day out, when the LHC is up and running. Here's a replay of what we've just seen.
the double flash. That's to show us that the beam went in and went out. We have here Boris Belezia from the Hardware Commissioning, the team that has uh, made sure that all the components are up and running, the, all the components, all the 9,000 magnets of this monster machine are working as a unit. What does it mean for you? Well, it's a very important moment for us, for my team. We are working on the commissioning of all the circuits uh, since two years and now. It's very is a it's a very very exciting moment for us. Uh, as you see, everyone is smiling, clapping hands, and it's very important. I think there are guys spread around the accelerator in the detectors control room at point two, five, eight, and one, who must be extremely excited. And in a very few moments. We are going to talk to them and see how they lived this momentous event. Yes, indeed. This control room that we've been focusing on for the past hour is the main control room for the LHC, for the accelerator. But there are several other control rooms at each of the main detector stations, and they will bear there to measure what goes on in the collisions when the collisions are up and running in a few months' time. We're going to be going down to each of those control rooms in a few minutes' time, ask them what they saw, what it means to them, and what their experiments are hoping to deliver in the fullness of time. That, after all, is what this big physics experiment is about. There you see the control rooms in your screen. Talk us through 